Um, so on that note, another good reason why we moved it to tonight was because Shogun dropped its final episode, episode 10, A Dream of a Dream last night. And we have both watched it. And um, so now we get to wrap up this, our talk on Shogun season one. And the IMDb um, summary says for this episode, in the wake of a tragic death, Blackthorn finally considers the true nature, nature of Toronaga's plan. Um, Will, what are your overall thoughts as such a Shogun fanboy? Yes, I am a Shogun fanboy. Overall thoughts, uh, I found it to be a very satisfying finale. You know, no surprise there. <laughs> yeah. But I will say, and I, in complete transparency here, as I was watching the episode, there were some moments where I was wondering where they were going to go. Mm-hmm. And and there were a few moments where I was feeling like some 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 feelings of anticlimactic started to resonate yeah. in me. Yeah. But then but then they brought it home. <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, this is how you close out a series. And I, I I was very satisfied. But I you know, but I had the theme song on the loop. <laughs> 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 you would. You would. Yeah, yeah. Um yeah, yeah, I <laughs> I feel about this episode the way I feel about this entire season of Shogun. I should like this show more than I actually do. Mm. <laughs> At the end of the day, <laughs> there is nothing wrong with this. Is it anticlimactic? Absolutely. But does it make sense in context of the story that we've been given? Absolutely. <laughs> like, yep. like, I just, it, everything makes sense. To an extent. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I think it really is kind of like, to your point, it, there is like, it's anticlimactic just because it's much more like a prologue as opposed to an actually con- actual conclusion, I mm-hmm. feel. Mm-hmm. Um, which... Which is fine, and I'm used to. I mean, go back to Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones has a lot of, like, their penultimate episodes are better than their finales. Yeah. So so I, I totally understand that. It's just, it's just that overall, this show, I, I should, I respect it. There is nothing wrong with it. But I'm also not in love with it. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, and 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 I think it's because of I'm not in love with all of the characters. I'm in love with maybe a handful. Mm-hmm. Um, so you you brought up um, some spots where you thought that like where you were really feeling the anti class or where they're gonna go. Um, yeah. Do you want to start with one of those? The very beginning with uh, with, with Blackthorn uh, be, lying there on his deathbed. Mm-hmm. Um, because I was like, and you know, and, and one thing about this episode, these episodes all overall is the titles have really done a good job of sort of capturing the spirit and, and the, uh, and the theme of the episode very, very well. Sometimes, you know, the titles are just titles. People don't pay attention to them, but they really did a, a dream of a dream. Uh, this, you know, cause it was one of those things where I was just like, huh? Where, where, you know, are we, we going to get, you know, when they talked about, you know, did you, you know, whatever the kids, grandkids asked, like, did you get that from the savages? And I think made a comment about the, the, the maybe a, a chip in the sword or something like that. And, and then as the show started to progress, I was, I, I guess it kind of set me up wanting to see where that was coming from. Mm-hmm. And, and then so of course later now you know as we get further in episode as we'll talk later this evening we you know we we realized that um uh, we weren't looking at the future there it was actually blackthorn present day blackthorn in, in the story was like imagining how things were going to turn out for himself but mm-hmm. you know but i thought they really did a good job of like so for, at least for me it just it, it, it created an expectation of of what that at that time, as I was watching it real time, thought it was a flashback. Looking for that place, and then and it never 
it didn't come the way I thought it was going to. So that's that's where it kind of where I was like, where are they going with this? But as I said, other things in the story really, really fleshed out that opening scene better and, and really explain what was actually going on there. Uh, that after everything transpired, then with you know with you know getting to Fiji and and and, and Blackthorn on the lake. Um, yeah. That you know, and and we see that the crucif you know, Mariko's crucifix is there with them. That I was like, ah, that's what they were doing there, you know. And, and that's when I, and that's what that's where I was like, yeah, I'm satisfied. That that that, that, that I love that that whole sequence there with with him and Fiji. So they were one. dumping they were dumping her remains as well. Um. Well, yeah. I think, well, the cross. Remember? Yeah. Yeah, because you know, I, I cause, guess I'm confused because I know that they dumped they her, dumped, her family. Yeah. yeah, her son yeah. and husband's right. And, yeah, and they took yeah, and then they took out Black Torn, took out Mariko's cross. Right. And then Fuji was like, "You should be the you know, you should hold her last." And he dropped it into the water. Okay. Okay. I I don't know. I I think I I blinked. When he yeah. dropped it, <laughs> well, and they, they dropped it. And they show and they show it like sinking into the into the into the into the ocean. I, I was like, oh, I don't have to read anymore. So let me look at my phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened there. Uh, I like guess. It, yeah. See it. Yeah. I, like, like this is another reason why I'm not sold on this show is because I'm I'm not invested. I was never invested in Mariko Blackthorn like as a couple. Mm. So, mm, so to mm. me, no, yeah, you, you were more Mar- Mariko and uh, and uh, Father Abito. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I don't, I don't, I don't uh, people I, misunderstand me. I found Bentaro to be a more fascinating character because of the choices yeah. Yeah. that they made with him. Not necessarily. I wasn't saying I. There. Okay. I'm, I'm just, just joking with you. I'm just joking with you. Throw throwaway line you had last week. <laughs> in a very harmful way. So just let me be clear. I was never like a fan of them being married or together. I just think that people villainized him more than they actually should have based on the the things that were done. I mean, anyways. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I know. I know. We uh, and if you folks go back and listen to our discussion on that, because we we had a, we went for a quite a bit on, on how uh, how he was bit how Sarah felt he was being overly dumped on when I when I pretty much dumped on him pretty hard. I guess. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because yeah. Will played right into what the writers want you to do. <laughs> me, I'm like, no, no, no. I don't. I don't care what you want me to do. Yeah. I yeah. don't understand. No, uh, no. But I, but I was thinking. But two. I think it's a good. This is a good segue to talk about Mariko and um her the the, the deal that she made uh, with mm-hmm. Father Alivio. Um, well, because, she didn't just make that deal. Tornaga made it too. Yeah, but she spared Blackthorn's life. Uh, that that was more, and Tornaga more. and Tornaga, both of them did. Yeah, with the ship and how, and it, and they sold that very very well in my opinion, uh, especially with the using you know, with the Christian Raiders and seeing like the you know, decapitated heads there on the on the spikes and in the in Anjuro the the village. Um, so yeah, yeah, they yeah. they it was for both the viewers and the characters themselves. It was. It was a very good uh, distraction. Distraction. Yeah. Distraction. Yeah. I don't know if it was a distraction so much as trying to get you to think one thing um, when really the other is going on. You know, with Marco's death, the whole the fallout from it. You know, as far as Jabashuge, uh, his his guilt. <laughs> he had his Lady Macbeth moment. <laughs> He had the, a lot of weird moments. Yeah. I mean, it was his guilt, insanity almost. Him being hit. I mean, let's take it back to the first time yeah. or how we're introduced to him. He has an obsession with death. Yeah, yeah. And and we see him throughout the season kind of circle it. And then in this episode, witnessing Mariko sacrifice herself, knowing he's the cause of it. This is the one time where his his uh, character kind of, I don't know, kind of like, like um, wasn't as, 
I think it got a little muddled on his character because mm-hmm. I still don't quite understand how he ended up in there with them. I, I still don't know. He so he let the he let the No, I understand that. Yeah. But then like did he go back to his quarters? I mean No, so as 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 the fighting was progressing whenever he let the ninjas in, not they're not the ninjas, well, forerunners of the ninjas in. Um he you know, as as they were he he was trying to like play it, you know, his, his job is shoe So yeah, I let these people in, but then he started to like pretend like he was trying to defend Marco and Blackthorn and all the rest of them, and they all ended up getting you know caught into in that room. Um, so that's how he ended up he ended up in yeah. there because he was just, just being his usual duplicitous self. Yeah, yeah, survivalist. That's yeah. what the word. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so, and so he has some shell shock, I think, from all of that. That leads to him just being more messy. And Ishido lets him go <laughs> back. And, um, but Toronaga, like both of these guys who he's been like trying to play both sides with, ends up disowning him. Mm-hmm. And then um, Toronaga demands that he kills, um, kills himself. So commits Stark Picker. And um, I just I I I I find it I f- like as anticlimactic as it was. My favorite character on the show finally gets let in on the plan, yep. and as one Toranaga tells to, and he like suddenly he's our avatar to understanding. Like we're not gonna see the quote-unquote battle Mm -hmm. that didn't shed any blood no 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 we're just gonna hear about it (laughs) (laughs) and um and the story is gonna conclude um so so the the overarching story of of Toranaga's battle with Ishido comes to a head and we get the whole plan unveiled to Yabushige um right before he's about to right before he um kills himself and yeah. and i just like that's again why he stuck out to me is because even at the end like he finally gives us the answers we've been looking for yeah yep. <laughs> only to die which he's wanted to for so yeah long. yeah and his i mean everything about yabashige he was true to himself to the end even like it, even with his death plans like feed me to the dogs you know? yep. Yep, feed me to the dogs. I want the, they're hungry, and yeah. I don't know. It's it's very interesting, um, and that's again why I have a lot of respect for the writing of this show, mm-hmm. is because the the whole co- um, cultural perspective and also individual perspective on life and death yeah. that's played throughout the entire season and really this whole episode like like it's much more philo- philosophical about life and death um as as we see even blackthorn attempt to commit seppuku this episode um but but tornaga denies him mm-hmm. and and just because blackthorn makes him laugh well Blackthorn makes them laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean it's. I mean it's, sometimes it's not the grandest thing. It's just like you know. <laughs> it makes them laugh, and maybe he can help build a a Japanese navy. I don't know. I maybe. don't know. The, he he he's apparently picking on uh, up on Japanese real quickly. So so he. They don't need yeah. a translator no more. Um, well, yeah, but then, but of course, we, but we they don't need a formal translator. But we do learn that uh, uh, Muraje, you know, he did, you know, he, the spy that we called, you know, week, uh, weeks yeah. ago. Um, you know, he, he out, we we learn more about him as far as the fact that he, you know, he speaks Portuguese just like Blackthorn, and um, and you know, you know Tornado had dispatched him to. To you know, be a to be a spy, but he became so um, and so in, in embedded that he actually ended up adopting the faith. Uh, you know, so uh, but I, I really liked how they, they, they 
close the loop on that character. I mean, it, that's that was speaking of, the, of writing. I mean, that's that's another thing. I think they did a really solid job, and why I found this finale stuck the landing for me, even though, as I said earlier, there were some points where uh, part of the anticlimax too was just. I mean, we know that Tornaga becomes the Shogun, right? Um, and but. The point of the what I was going with the writing is they really did tie up all the loose ends with with these characters. I mean, I don't feel like I don't feel like I'm at least with this this aspect of the story. I know where every, everything lands with these characters. Now, if, if they hypothetically, which probably won't happen, but if they wanted to do another season and show how you know so show the battle and how Ito how Tornaga's first few years of a shogunate is run, then, you know, they could do that. But to me, that would, that would diminish what they've established here if they did something like that for the cash grab. Why did Ochiba decide to um, bail on Ishido? Uh, it was the meeting with Mariko. Hmm. She, because she, you know, when it had that, that the, the poem, uh, that moment in last week's episode, um, the, the seeds were planted there um, whenever they had their their moment there in, in the garden. And then we saw it sort of play out after, I think, Ashiba figured, I think, there's several things. I think, one, she saw what Ashido was up to. Which uh, what? Uh, this basically... Um, Leading the, leading to leading the country to a pointless war uh, with Tornaga. Um one of the factors. Two, I think I think she uh, saw saw that he his fingerprints were all over Mariko's death uh, as well. So I think between all that and then you know she's she's talking to her son, the the future Tycho. Um, you know, she helps him. You know, they have that very poignant conversation, and she 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 finishes out the poem that Mariko was was trying to tell her uh, whenever he was trying to write when he was writing when her, when her son was writing that poetry. So, I think all those factors, among others, and I'm you know I'm sure the listeners will you know could feel, feel feel free to you know comment on our on our pages and stuff about what you know other other motivations. But those are some of the ones that that I think top, at least top of head that come to mind. Yeah, I don't buy it. There's something still. I I understand what you're saying, um, and and there has been seeds planted f- far earlier. Um, I remember at the play, the Taika's um, mm-hmm. wife um, mentioned she chose the wrong side, but at the same time, the Ochiba that we're introduced to, and more importantly, her hatred of Torid Naga. Like, they committed so hard with that as an introduction to this character that it just seemed weird to me. Mm. It seemed a bit off. And and we talked last week about my feelings about that interaction between Ochiba and Mariko, where it didn't really seem completely in character for me um, with, with how Ochiba responded. Um, so that's probably also why her suddenly deciding to take Toranaga's side didn't really align where I feel like they focused more in the later half of the season and rightfully so on the motivations of Toranaga, Mariko, Blackthorn, mm-hmm. a little bit of the Abishige. Um and less on Ishido and Ochiba. Where once you lose, like, that threat and that villainous, like, motivation, things get a bit muddy for me of being like, okay, so. See, yeah, I, I, I disagree with that some. I mean, I think, because, I mean. Well, the, I know you do. Yeah, because, <laughs> well, I, and I'm just going to, uh, where I disagree is they still focused on it with, unless you're, let me just ask you this for clarification. Are you saying that, you know, the things, it, it was that sort of resolved for you once he did all his, Ishido did all the scheming to build, you know, to, to get the five 
members of the regents to to be able to impeach Tornaga, and then from that point forward, you're like, I don't know. I just <laughs> they didn't feel very much like a threat because Mariko <laughs> already, like, I don't know. It just yeah, they didn't feel like a threat. Okay. Yeah, I mean it's fine. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, I agree with you that the, the the narrative shift did focus more to the, 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 the to Mariko Blackthorn and, and Tornaga. I mean, there's no there's no doubt that that it did. Um, I just didn't know if you had any other thoughts as far as the the, the threat lesson, other than you they know, lost the political game last episode. Oh yeah, yeah. But well, they this... also, but but they also, I don't know. It just it, there wasn't enough time there where this. I feel like, I don't know if it's like, I don't know if it's that they, I feel like they're much less of a threat. It's just that their motivations for mm. their actions weren't clear for Got me. Okay. Like okay. from yeah. the, for the first half, it was very clear to me what the political moves were. And then once we understood why Ochiba was siding with Ichido, her decisions were clear to me. Okay. But the later half of the season, it's kind of like as soon as Mariko entered entered the court, suddenly they were stupid. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly they just they didn't. I don't know, especially yeah, that's, that's... Ochiba, because she 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 like I get your point. She saw him leading the country to a um, pointless war, but at the same time, that's the war she wanted. So yeah. I don't, I don't understand, like, she helped him, like, feel this. It's, this wasn't an Ishido only thing. He needed her in order for, like, this to really come to head. And then she gets cold feet? Like, I don't know. I, I just, I, they, they spent a lot of time in this episode focused on making sure we understood all of the good guys maneuvers and plots to secure victory Mm -hmm. and again this is all rightfully so i find it very thin what they did in terms of their quote-unquote villains Mm -hmm. we hardly got any screen time with them and then suddenly next thing you know we get a letter and then that letter says this and you're just like okay okay but then again at the beginning we talked about how this episode is very much like a prologue and not yeah. A a finale, like a spectacular finale. I mean, the Crimson Sky, to Torinaga's point, that occurred last episode. That's not this episode. This yeah. episode is more of like the aftermath and and people realizing like, okay, now under this new rule, where is my place? And Blackthorn accepting that he's never going to leave Japan mm-hmm. in a way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that, that that that's, and I think that's, and I think that's why I like this final so much, because it it did kind of subvert, like you, you know, because we did have all this build up, like it's going to be a big war, and we're also conditioned in a lot of ways to like in other in other shows and 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 properties, like we're going to have this big massive third act fight, and you know, and. This is this is going to happen, but here it was really like you said. I mean, and Tornaga said it himself. You know, the Crimson Sky was Mariko, and you know she and he sent a woman to do what an army couldn't do. Okay. Anything else you want to say about a dream of a dream? Yeah, just the uh, last last point, and one thing that we I know we kicked about throughout the season, um, and just wanted to get your thoughts on it, um, especially with. Uh, Toronaga and Yabashige's um, unveiling of the plans <laughs> right there before his Yabashige's demise. So do you think at the end of the day, Toronaga wanted to be the Shogun or or for personal gain or he was doing it for the good of the country? Did he want the Shogun? Because all throughout he was like, I'm, you know, and we talked about this before. He said he was trying, his, his goal was to follow the Taika plan, which was, you know, his son comes of age and then he takes over. But yeah, I think he wanted to be Shogun. Hmm. Isn't there a line in this episode that Ishido or somebody says while they're in Osaka that the earthquake, an earthquake occurred right before t- the Taika was mm-hmm. going to go to yeah. war with right Toronaka? Be- 
right before, right right when the council was having their their discussions um yeah they, they had the earthquake yeah, yeah. just yeah. i just so, also I, I thought that was a bit on the news <laughs> you know you know whether oh i absolutely agree yeah. whether or not i just uh this whole like for it's it's okay i just the I'm just going to say this. The absurdity that that people will, would make a claim that, oh, he's just going to be the most powerful person in the country for the good of the country. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? what? I don't. One plus one does not equal two. OK, so somebody please explain to me. And also everything he had to do. Mm-hmm. The lives he had to, to like, he lost his best friend. Yeah. Mariko sacrificed herself. Like, honestly, maybe Toranaga's the real, real villain here. Because, because mm. if he did all of that just for the good of his country, then, like, what the fuck? <laughs> You're a psychopath. <laughs> the, I just, there was... He, there was so much personal loss, mm-hmm. um, and it and it sounds like it was always headed to this point. Um, that I just I can't I can't say yeah wholeheartedly he had no interest in ever becoming a shogun. No, no, mm-hmm. he 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 he's a wall facer. Okay. <laughs> That's yeah. that's all I heard. The moment I learned about the term wall facer, I'm like, that's Toronaga, okay? He yeah. he's telling you what you want to hear, but at the end of the day, I don't think you can do that much strategic maneuvering without at least some personal interest in like, oh, and if I do this, then I end up here politically and yeah. Yeah. power wise. Well, I, I, yeah. Um I, I think that's a very you, know, I th- you can make good arguments both ways, uh, and I think Tornaga says it himself. Whenever uh, how does it feel to shape the wind to your will, and Tornaga's like, I only study it, <laughs> and I We're, think that's and not right there. That's not an like that's not an evil thing, but honestly, yeah, I don't control it. I only study it. Yeah, so like like yeah, he he knows that he can only do so much, but. Yeah. That's doesn't mean he doesn't enjoy the power he wields no yeah. no no yeah so. yeah i agree i mean i i i think i think it's a, it's a it's a it's a mixed bag i mean you could interpret it either way i mean I, I think he maybe at the beginning his 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 end goal was to do it for the best of the country but like you said i mean you don't do all that and he didn't waste her much death uh you know because he he does maneuver things and put things, you know, studies the situation to the place where things do have one big final conflict. And then, you know, Japan does enter into like 200 plus years of like peace. So, so yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, it, it could be mixed motivations here for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I also think like that, that's fine. But to say like one or the other, mm-hmm. an absolute no way in hell. Yeah, I agree. No, yeah, <laughs> there, was, yeah. there was a, a huge amount of personal interest. It wasn't yeah. just that, and and I think there was too many, too many seeds that there were things brewing way before this show started. Yeah, like tornaga has been around for a while, so yeah, yeah. 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 We awesome. just watched the final chapter in a sense. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that concludes Shogun, which we will probably talk about again, as it's probably going to end up on Will's best of list at the end of this year. Um, You damn damn right it will. (laughs) 